Hello and welcome. I am the Prince of Positivity. Welcome to my channel and here is the word for today. Eternal legacy. Have you ever given it some thought? Well, let me tell you a little bit of a story. As the Dust Bowl sandstorms were ravaging the United States during the Great Depression, a man named John Milburn Davis, a resident of Kansas, decided to make a name for himself. Now he was a self-made millionaire, had no children. Davis might have invested in charity or economic development, but instead, at great expense to himself, he commissioned 11 life-size statues of himself and his deceased wife to start and stand in a local cemetery. Hmm, interesting, right? They hate me in Kansas, he's quoted as saying to a journalist. Local residents wanted him to fund construction of public facilities like a hospital or a swimming pool or a park. Yet all he said was, it's my money and I'll spend it the way I please. Now King Solomon, the wealthiest man of his day, wrote, whoever loves money never has enough. And as goods increase, so do those who consume them. Now, just in case you didn't realize, that's in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 10 and 11. Solomon had grown keenly aware of the corrupting influences and tendencies that great wealth tends to produce. The Apostle Paul also understood the temptation of wealth and chose to invest his life in obedience to Jesus. Awaiting execution while in a Roman prison, Paul wrote triumphantly, I am already being poured out like a drink offering. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Now, what's the lesson of all this? Well, what lasts isn't what we chisel in stone, like Mr. Davis and his statues of himself and his wife, or what we hoard up for ourselves. Hmm? It's what we give out of love for each other and for him. The one who shows us how to truly love. So, the question for you today, mm -hmm, give it some thought. What will others remember about you? What changes might you need to make as you ponder your eternal legacy? There is one for you, you know. You have a choice. I am the Prince of Positivity. And for now, I'm out.